That's not facing me, is it? It's a little better. Yesterday, I made this. This is my tiller clutch uh, prototype. It's the wrong size. <laughs> I, uh, I made this too long. I didn't look at my video yesterday uh, about when I measured the uh, thickness of the tiller handle. So this is an inch too long. So we're going to remake it. We're going to bend it at two inches now instead of uh, three. That is what it is, eh? Uh, well, you saw yesterday. I'm not going to videotape it again. So it'll be shorter in a few minutes. Here's version two. It's two inches instead of three. So I shortened it by an inch. Okay, uh, what have I got to do now? I've got to go find some rubber uh, hose for the bow of my dinghy. Uh, it's worn out from banging up against things, so I'm getting a new piece and uh, just attach it. I, if I can't find exactly what I'm looking for, I'll just use a piece of garden hose from uh, Princess Auto or something. Let's, uh, let's get on that task. Okay. I'm on my way over to the shop right now. I, that's where I keep my table saws. I don't, just don't have room for one at Heidi's. It ends up being a bench and it, uh, to use it, it's too much work <laughs> to take it out of the garage. I've got to find a little, uh, portable one. Uh, maybe get rid of my other ones because they're just ending up as benches, right? So, well, uh, anyways, uh, going over to the shop, gonna cut a piece of wood, and uh, that wood is I'm going to use for the uh, the siren hatch uh, boards, uh, whatever they're called that hold the hatches in. Hold the hatch covers in, I guess, is what it is. So, gonna do that, then hit my favorite princess store. Hey, just popped by the shop and uh, cut that wood. It, uh, I think it's gonna work fine. And I cut it, uh, I wrapped it, a piece of wood uh, there in the back. Uh, I'm not gonna make a tutorial on how to do it. I'll show how the profile I made if you don't know how to use a table saw and do that, you shouldn't be using a table saw. Um, on my way to Princess Auto now. Still got all my fingers. Hey, just left my favorite Princess store. I got some hose for my dinghy. Um, I'll show you how that's gonna work. That, uh, I guess it's a, it's for the front of the dinghy. I'll have to cut the hose and uh, puffer it on on the ends, but I'll be gluing it on as well. Probably with silicone because I've got an open tube of silicone from uh, yesterday. And from whatever I used it for last, I don't know what that was. We're on our way now to the yacht club. And to get there, I'm going to take the 907. Go that way, and that way. On the VMP. That wasn't so bad. That was 17 minutes to get uh, from my favorite princess store to the park. And uh, it would have been quicker had I not been following that red dump truck. Wow, does it ever start off slow. Oh well. Out to the club, we'll uh, put this tiller taper thing on and check our woodwork. Uh, and see how it's going to fit. So I'm out here at the club. The water's gone down considerably. There's that crazy log again. And now they've quit. There were a bunch of big carp. Doing some acrobatic stuff over here in the the uh, floats them and jets them, like 
big carp, like over three feet. So here's my tiller. Here's my piece that's going to go through and that's how it's going to work. I'm going to be drilling a <clears throat> 5 8 hole uh, in the bottom of the tiller handle and it's because it it will fit this nicely. So I'm going to put it about here. Let's uh, lean this up and uh, drill a hole. I'm not going very deep with this 5 8 so I'll go maybe quarter of an inch max. Drill down from the top first. It's kind of important to get this straight. Drilled my hole through. Um, you have to watch when you're using these. When you drill through the bottom, it uh, splits it. Uh, it's no big deal for me because I'm making it larger. Also, I should have drilled a pilot hole to do this properly with a, uh, a twist drill. But, and, and the reason is because it's hard to center these. But because my uh, pointy part is small or is bigger than that, it'll center itself here. I didn't get my pilot or my hole going through straight, but that's not going to matter. That's uh, what I'm after there. This will go up through here. And you can see how it's going to pull the, the rope tighter as I tighten it. I'm going to go a little bit deeper, and this should be perfect. Let's take a look at this now. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. There we go. The line will go through there. And just be able to slide when this is loose. Tighten it. How's it going, Chris? Okay, how are you doing? All right. Water's up. Just a little. You might, you might find your your ramp is floating. I would suggest pushing down on it with a, a stick before you step on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you how I know why that might be the way. The <laughs> Mine was. So here's my new piece to replace this piece. And this piece just has the groove cut in it, and it's broken here. And well, it's, it, it breaks there because it's thin. So my new piece looks different. As you can see, it's just got, it's got a rabbited spot out. It's thicker here. So, well, we'll, uh, we'll take these home and I'll cut them to length because they're too long. And I'll put a coat of varnish on them and uh, oh, bring them back. We'll stick them on the boat sometime. A uh, couple of screws. Four, actually. Four screws that hold these in on each side. So I'll replace both. Cutting my tube that I got at Princess Auto. I think it's gonna work fine. Yeah, that'll work fine. I have to uh, uh, cut it. I'll bring out my uh, drill and pop riveter and I'll pop rivet this on so that it's held on tight. I'll also use some silicone or something. That will be for another day. Noticed uh, those little birds are back at the canoe. They're nut hatches. They're building a nest. There goes one of them now. They're building a nest in the bow of the canoe. They'll have to move. I have to figure out a way to stop them doing that. Okay, back at home uh, in the garage. 
I wanted to go over how I made my uh, hatch cover slide things. This is just a piece of wood, you know, three and three quarter inches wide. I just ripped it down the center, made two. Then I put it through the table saw and I cut this. And that gave me my uh, depth of, where's my other piece? There, that gave me my depth. Let me grab my other piece and show you. I'm, when I'm talking about depth, uh, you can see the broken piece. It is this depth here. I just guessed. I don't know if they're the same or not. No, they're not. This is deeper than this. Okay, hopefully this will show you. Well, I mean depth. I was aiming for this depth or height. I was a little short. But that's fine, I think. Uh, because it doesn't have this bottom piece. So after I cut that uh, down here, I turned it on its side and ran it through the table saw just to uh, clean it up. And you can see this is an old, just a piece of wood I found off the road. This was an old bed frame or head or something, uh, probably Ikea. So by cutting those two things, I ended up with this piece of wood kind of fits in there. This is the scrap that I got out of it. Uh, so that made me think, how easy is it to make one of these with without a table saw? I'll show you. Imagine that this is a, a one by two and it doesn't have that cutout. And then this is a little piece of trim that you can get at the, the uh, big box stores. I forget what it's called, but there's little bits of trim like this uh, out there. What you can do is use a one by two and attach this little bit of trim to the side. That effectively mimics this cutout. I would glue it and, uh, and then use that as my, my piece. So I've got these. Uh, you can tell they're not cut perfectly straight down. That's by mistake. Uh, that uh, <laughs> I didn't notice. See, this one's a, a little straighter. I didn't notice until I was cutting uh, the first one that the knob for the uh, angle adjustment on the saw, it fell off as I was cutting. <laughs> I'd never adjusted it. It was straight. I didn't think to tighten it. So, oh well, it's off a little bit. If I need to, I can run it back through the table saw again and take some more off. So my next course of action, to measure this and just copy uh, the ends. So I'll cut it off. I don't want that hole in the end, so I'll cut it a little further back, around the edges, same deal up here, around the edges, and uh, give it a sand and then a coat of uh, this stuff spar varnish. Any spar marine varnish will work uh, for this and I'll do the whole the whole thing so I'll sand it all down so it's all done correctly. That's where I'm gonna leave it today. Thanks for watching. Please click the clicky things and uh, tell your friends to subscribe. Thanks.